definitely. So you said something, I kind of missed it, right? Where you said that you started doing like, you did a video on YouTube about JavaScript when you was like, what, like 14, nine years old or something like that? What was it that you- I was nine. Nine years old. So this goes perfect to the next question. I mean, when did you get started with programming? Yeah, so I would say I've been interested in like tech and computers pretty much my entire life. But I think the first time I ever attempted coding, I was 12 years old, like actually like writing my own original software. Mm -hmm. And it was so, so bad. I mean, I was so frustrated every time I would try. I was the first thing I got I tried to get into was Android apps. Yeah. Because I had an Android phone and that's what I thought was cool. So I kept trying to like learn the IDE at the time was called Eclipse. So mm -hmm. I'd look up, you know, like tutorials with Eclipse. Even this was before Android Studio was even a thing. I was using Eclipse. I was trying to learn Java. And all I would do is just get errors. For like all day long, I would just get errors. And this happened for like the next two years. So I made almost no progress. So it was, I was really, <laughs> really bad at it starting off. <laughs> But I think maybe at like 17, I started getting better at it. I would, I would do it every year and then quit for half of the year and then yeah. get back into it the next year. So around 17, I would say I started taking it like very seriously. But before that, yeah, I was just messing around with it for yeah. five years. Yeah, I mean, that sounds pretty similar to my story. Um, I kind of started programming when I was like in the transition between seventh grade to eighth grade. I don't know how old I was. I was probably like 13, 12 years old around there. Um, but I remember I built a, a website for like Dragon Ball Z. I mean, I'm pretty old. I mean, I'm 32 now, but that was like back in 2000. There was no YouTube. There was no place to host videos. So there was a thing called Real Player back then. And the way how I did it was I somehow figured it out by going through the view source of a page of somebody else's page. And then I looked through there and then somehow I figured out how to build my own web page. And then I started uploading a whole bunch of Dragon Ball Z movies back then. Next thing I know, I got a letter from like the FBI of like, hey, you got to fucking bring your, your website down because it was getting crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was like half a million people on it. And then uh, then after that, I left it alone from like, you know, from that age all the way to like 24. I never touched it again till then. And um, yeah, and it's just crazy. You know, sometimes you get introduced to certain things just because you like it when you're really young and you kind of leave it al alone because you either fail at, at it or you're having some issues. But it's funny that later on in life, you, you come back and you pick it up. You're like, oh, it's like riding a back, you know, he's like back at it, you know. So it's pretty cool, man. I like, I like that. Uh, the origin story of a trend black before he became a developer, you know what I mean? <laughs> Eclipse. No, definitely. I think coding, I think coding is one of those things where a lot of people are going to quit the first time they get into it because it's, it's pretty hard when you're just getting into it. But if you stick around and come back to it, I think it's pretty rewarding yeah so let's see um the next one that i have here is how's the college experience for a computer science major i mean now that you decide you say like at 17 you decided okay i'm gonna start taking this a little bit more serious and then that's like the time where you're about to graduate from schools right so now you're in college and you're like okay which major should i choose right what was you thinking you always thought of doing computer science or you know or that's something that just came after you started school oh no since i was 13 i knew i was gonna major in computer science there was no doubt in my mind that that's what i was gonna do i i i already had that uh but the college experience well right now it's awful because uh school's online right now mm -hmm. so i'm actually taking a gap year right now <laughs> because it's right now i really don't think it's a good time to be in college because you're paying full tuition for for uh an online experience you know you don't mm -hmm. get to go to classes in person you don't get to go to parties you don't get to go yeah. to the library or the gym so i'm gonna i'm gonna give it a year and then come back to school so and see what that's like mm -hmm. but apart from covid so assuming that it was normal again mm -hmm. i think i think uh i don't know i can see a lot of, fla of flaws with computer science i think college in general is really fun mm -hmm. so i i like i like college in general but <laughs> computer science like the thing about computer science, a lot of people don't really understand, especially like the high school students going into it, is they're thinking computer science, like they're equating that to like web development. 
but it's a completely separate thing. Computer science is more like the math or the theory behind the mm-hmm. algorithms. And they're not going to be using that kind of information when they're creating websites. But if they were to apply it to Google, for example, they might use that information. But I think the point behind computer science is to like, you know, really train your problem solving skills and get that foundation of how everything works. And I hated that going into it. Mm-hmm. The first year I was just focused on, I was just focused on developing things. And in my mind, I would sit in my classes and I would think, oh, this is so useless. Why am I learning this? I was, I was really mad at the school mm-hmm. system. But now, now that I finished my second year, I actually kind of enjoy the, the theoretical parts of computer science. Like I've come to respect it. Mm-hmm. And now that I've given it a chance, like it's hard, it's really hard, but <laughs> it's, I think it's, I think it's pretty, uh, what's for, I think it's pretty productive to learn this stuff. Yeah. So overall, I'm not, not complaining, but a lot of people they absolutely hate it, you know? So, mm-hmm. yeah, no, I think, I think, uh, computer science, you know, cause I actually took, I took like my first year, I, I went to school for a uh, programming system, which is like more like it work. And then when I switched over to a four year school, um, basically I was going to do computer science. So I did my first semester of like computer science and, and, you know, went through the whole freaking calculus and freaking, you know, calculus two and three and then freaking uh, computer science 101, et cetera. And, and then I was in there, I was like, I'm actually building things at home. And like, and when I come to class, it's just like theory or bits and bytes and, and shit like that. I'm like, this shit is boring. And I'm like, this shit is useless. But in reality, I think just like yourself, you know, computer science, it, 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 you know, the major itself is more theory, but it comes in handy depending on like what company you're going to go to. Just like you said, if you're going to Google, like, let's say, for example, uh, in companies like that, they're looking for uh, somebody who is talented, not just like, let's say in web or in software or in whatever it is. And if you have the foundation of computer science and you have a, a, a pretty solid degree, then you, they could go and put you in any of the different um, branches of development at any moment. And you should be able to pick it up because you already have that foundation, you know? So it's not really more like, you know, when you're a web developer, you think, well, I could build websites. I could do CRUDs. I could do uh, my SQL databases. I could do all of this stuff. Um, but when you work at this type of companies, it's like they have huge teams and a whole bunch of different projects that in reality, what they're looking for is like an overall developer that can go in and fit into any of those teams is not just one skill. So I think computer science is pretty cool, you know, for, especially yourself. I mean, you're young. How old are you now? I'm 20 now. You're 20. Yeah. So it's like if I had Getting the, old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I had like the same, uh, you know, if I was the same age, if I'm like 17, 18 years old, it's a no brainer to, to go to college. Right. It doesn't make sense. Uh, I always say this. Um, if you're like older, maybe like 28, 29, then maybe I, I would try to just try to do it on my own. Um, just because it, life gets harder later on it, and you don't have that free time to be like, well, I'm just going to go to school for four years. And you know, it, it's a different environment, but uh, definitely, man. It's, it's pretty cool that, you know, you understand the whole process <laughs> of school and you're like, okay, I understand it now my second year. <laughs>